Hey there, thanks for joining. My name is Taryn. I'll be taking you through Guide today. Now, if you're not already familiar with Guide, it is a wonderful, easy to use content creation tool. Highly recommend this for organizations um, that are needing some comprehensive content creation um, with advanced video editing features. Uh, they've included great things like uh, automatic storyline generation, uh, there's a lot of customization options as well, uh, and this might be a good fit for your business. Now, I like using this for um, different use cases like employee training. Uh, perhaps you've got onboarding processes that need to be documented, um, and you don't want to repeat uh, the process every single time. It's a great idea to use a tool like this. Um, perhaps you're needing it for customer support or product tutorials. Um, as well as internal documentation or knowledge sharing in general. Uh, it's also a great way to um, use this as a remote collaboration tool. Um, perhaps you need to share some visual instructions with teams that are distributed across different time zones. I love using tools like this uh, for those instances. Now, before we jump into the platform itself, um, just at first glance, it's really easy to use. The dashboard is pretty simple. I do like a clean interface like this one. Um, you're able to quickly see at a glance um, all your information. So any of your guides that you've created already, I've got a couple test guides here. You're also able to create spaces or how you imagine it, like workspaces uh, for different teams, which I quite enjoy as well. So perhaps um, if you do have multiple teams that will need to access guide, uh, you can easily go and create some shared working spaces like this um, which I find really useful. So you would then go and create um, your guide in this particular folder if you needed to. Um, you'll also be able to search for your videos, which I quite like. Now, in terms of some of the advanced features, I do like that they've got an insights dashboard. Um, to note that this is not available in the free plan um, because we're trialing out the business version or the business plan. Um, if you are needing advanced capabilities into analytics, um, I would recommend looking at the paid uh, or the tier pricing plans uh, for your use as well. I do like that you've got things like total views, unique viewers, average watch time. So this will tell you a lot about how users are engaging your content. Um, you are able to look at specific date ranges, which is quite great. Um, you're also able to just see quick uh, information such as video loads, total views or unique viewers. So these are viewers who have um, seen your video. Um, if they've watched this multiple times, it will still just count as one uh, viewer, which I do like that they are able to separate that information out. So that's really useful. Um, you're also able to um, see any activity um, in uh, specific spaces or times. Um, any of your members, if you've got additional members in your team, so you can see what they're up to. Um, of course, I've just one user here, but we do have um, information like this available, which I quite like. Uh, now, another one of my favorite features is you're able to create your own brand kit. So again, just to note here, um, if you are needing additional brand kits, which might be useful for your organization, uh, you would again just have to look at those paid for pricing tiers, of course, um, but you are able to access multiple brand kits um, on those tiers. Uh, you also have access to studio voices, which I'll show you in a minute, um, and uh, auto translation of multiple languages, which I really like. Now, uh, yeah, I, I quite like that you're able to create a default cover. Um, a default or intro video for your particular slides if you'd um, yeah, prefer to add that as well as an outro ending slide. Um, various colors, uh, you're able to select that as well as your logo. So I have added just a test logo here. You can make that a default uh, so that you can use those in uh, various uh, instances when you need that. Uh, again, I do like that you're able to customize so much. So I think in, uh, in terms of your uh, business requiring a customized brand, um, particular fonts, that kind of thing, you're able to access this. Um, they've also got an up option to upload a custom font uh, within your organization. You would need to contact the team, but I do like that they've got that capability as well. 
Now, uh, you are able to have uh, specific information um, with regards to any elements that you add. So uh, they've got a number of emojis, thumbs up, uh, some little icons, arrows, that kind of thing. And you are able to change the automated um, color of those features within uh, the app itself, which I really like. Now, the voiceover features, I really um, think that they've gone a long way to create this um, in terms of a advanced feature. Now, you're able to select multiple voices. Uh, you can also choose multiple languages. You can also choose different genders. And you can also test those out by clicking on the item. Type it in. So that you can hear uh, how the, the sound is before you go and select. Uh, for example, in English, you are able to choose between UK, uh, Australian, and uh, US English uh, with different accents, which I really like that you do have a, vers a versatility within the app to do this. Once you have selected that, you will be able then just to use that default uh, voiceover for your videos. I do like that you're able to still change that within your video if you need to. Uh, so that you don't have to automatically use the one that you've selected if you have uh, changed your mind halfway through your video. All right, you're also able to uh, change your extension logo, which I think is quite nice. Um, so again, I think just all, all there's a lot of versatility within the platform, a lot of um, room for uh, customization, which I think a lot of the other tools don't really add um, or have as an option. Uh, so I do like that guide has gone to some links to have these available to you. All right, another great feature is their integration. So they are able to integrate with Google Chrome, uh, Edge, Gmail, etc., and all the various ones that you see here. Of course, some of these are um, uh, would be needing to be included in the higher pricing plans. Uh, so uh, Guide does have a number of plans available so that you can choose the best one for your organization. As you can see, I've already installed the Google Chrome one and it would just add as an extension into your browser. So really nice and easy. It took me a couple of minutes to install that and get it up and running, which is great. So you can use it within your browser. And um, of course, uh, anything that you've deleted will be saved in your trash for 30 days. All right, they also have um, a really great video tutorial option within uh, the tool itself. So you can have a look at um, some how to's and getting started with guide. Uh, they've got a pretty good um, resource or knowledge base and support articles and videos um, on hand as well, which is really great um, if you're not too sure and you're quite new to something like this. All right, going back to my guide. So um, a couple cool features is uh, if you're wanting to just start with a recording and you're brand new to this, it's really simple. You would just click on capture and you would just record from the extension itself, which is really quick and easy. So um, super easy to use. You would just simply select that and you would be able to start your recording. Um, I do like that it is so simple like this. You could describe what you're trying to do. Um, they do give you an option for some of the use cases as mentioned earlier. Perhaps you're looking at FAQs, uh, support, custom onboarding. Some of these options might be helpful to you. You are able to record in privacy mode. Now I do like that they've got the option to blur sensitive information out as well. Again, available on the uh, higher, uh, higher pricing plans or tiers, um, but you do have that option to blur specific elements before the recording starts, which is quite handy. Um, and then of course you're able just to uh, start your recording from within the app. Really simple and easy. Now, I think where Guide really shines is their ability, and I think this is so cool, is you are able to start a guide from scratch by just recording, but on the paid for pricing tiers, you do have an option just to simply upload a PDF, a PowerPoint, or a video, um, and use that as an external source and create your guide from that, which is fantastic. So I've actually done one with a PDF as well. Um, uh, again, on the enterprise plans or the higher the, uh, the higher pricing plans, you are able to uh, integrate with OneDrive, Google, uh, and Zoom as well, which is really great. So you would simply just go and uh, upload a PDF if you needed that to be um, uploaded, 
Um, I've done one here already so you can see how quick and easy it is. Um, and you do have the option to edit this at any time. Now, um, I've just uploaded a very quick PDF, but you could then go and add steps before and after this. You could add some text in here, add multiple steps, you can add your icons, um, and then you can always just watch through your video. Now, I think it's important to note that you are able to do a lot of functions within uh, the guide uh, steps themselves, so I, I'm able to uh, add music, add text, and add voiceovers at any time, which is fantastic. So um, I do like that it is so quick and simple and easy to use. Um, for example, we can just click on the edit here. We can add additional copy, and that information would be um, editable within here. You're able then again, as mentioned, to change your fonts, text, uh, font sizes and colors, add uh, additional links in here at any time. And if you wanted to add um, edits to your visual now, after the fact, you're able to do that. As you can see, what I've done is already uploaded the PDF documents. Um, it doesn't uh, maintain the background, which is quite handy. So you've got a really clean way of looking at things here. Now, if we wanted to um, perhaps add music or a voiceover in, we're able to do this. So we could perhaps have information here, add some text, and then simply add our uh, voiceover here. And as mentioned, if you wanted to then change it at this point, uh, you would have an option to change your speaker, your gender, your language, and your accent at that point, which is really fantastic. So uh, I do like how easy it is to amend. Um, it's easy to add icons, elements throughout um, the, the process at any one time. Uh, as mentioned, they do have quite a few preset items here, but you could um, have access to multiple emojis and, and icons and elements at any point. As mentioned, I do like the fact that you're able to blur sens sensitive information out. So um, should you have something that did need to be blurred at any point, you're able to add that during the step-by-step -step, uh, guide as well. Um, We've got our voiceover and then of course any captions. So with guide, you are able to add captions, um, but you also have the option to generate voice to text within guide. Um, so again, just really powerful AI tools that you're able to utilize. Um, I do like that they've got audio available and they've got a lot of presets, uh, really great background music like this. And if you hover over any of those items, you could hear the music uh, you're able to adjust the volume as well so it's not too loud um, and then of course uh, add any media that you need throughout the uh, the video. You're able to add effects and um, transitions throughout the videos as well um, so you have the option to do that uh, within the editing tools. So again really great um, you can save your draft and auto saves for you once you click done, you could then just go through and watch your video from end to end so you get a good idea of um, what that looks before posting. Now, um, once you're happy with this, you do have the option to share this. Uh, you've got an option here to integrate with uh, email, Facebook, X or Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, you can also just copy the link if you wanted to do that as well by um, exporting that information and use any of the various options here, which I think is really great. You can also set this to restrict it, which I think is important. So if you have an organization who has access to the tool, I do like that they give you um, options to restrict the information um, if that's something that you need. All right. Now, to touch on their pricing plans, um, I know everyone's thinking, oh my goodness, this looks amazing, but hopefully these are not too um, up price in terms of the capabilities that they offer because they do have really great capabilities. Um, but the free plan is available with Guide. Um, the paid for pricing plans start at $16 a month uh, per user per month if you're paying annually, which I think is really great. So in terms of the actual costing itself currently, uh, really, really great options um, that you could look at. Um, it does include uh, browser, web, and desktop on the higher tier pricing plans only. Um, but if your organization does need that kind of functionality, it's worth 
its weight in gold. Um, and also think about the, uh, the various capabilities that you do have, like customizable brand kits, uh, text-to-voice generation and uh, voiceovers in multiple languages and genders. I know as someone who's paid for these, um, it can be really costly when you're needing to create quite a lot of documentation. So um, absolutely a super valuable tool, um, great analytics and insights as well available. They do have good customer support and you've always got access to the chatbot here uh, should you need some assistance uh, while you're using the app, which is great. So yeah, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of uh, what Guide can offer. Highly recommend having a look at it. Uh, if you're not sure, give the free trial a spin. It's definitely worth it. Um, but overall, really great user-friendly tool. So yeah, thanks for joining.